Hi SD fans and welcome back to the channel. We've talked about the attraction of the bigger marine life in a past video. And marine life doesn't come any bigger than marine mammals. The other thing which makes diving with marine mammals so intriguing is the fact that these intelligent animals will interact with you, often in most unexpected ways. Here at Scuba Diver, we love our marine mammal encounters. So in this video, I'm going to be looking at some of the most magnificent marine mammals on the planet. I love seeing all marine life, but I particularly like being in the water with the bigger stuff. Where that big stuff is a marine mammal, you can bet on having a memorable encounter. Many times I've often felt like the mammals in question are viewing me as a curiosity, not the other way around. Take dolphins for instance. I've been lucky enough to dive with dolphins all over the world, but my best encounters have been in the Egyptian Red Sea and in the Bahamas. In the Red Sea, there are a couple of reefs that are known as dolphin hangouts. And here you can snorkel with large family groups of spinner dolphins, from small juveniles to full grown adults. It is simply amazing. The first time I did it, the reef in question, Shab Samadai in the south of Egypt, was only visited by liverboards, and so we were the only boat there. Our boatman took our rib carefully into the lagoon of the semicircular reef, and we watched as the dolphins swam in steady circles around the outer edge. Carefully, we slid in the water and made our way to the edge of the reef to await the arrival of the dolphins. Floating with our heads poking out of the water, as soon as we saw dorsal fins in close proximity, we ducked our down to meet them. What an incredible experience. That first dive down, I reached about five meters and then went upright to be greeted by the sight of more than 200 dolphins barreling towards me. I could physically feel their sonar in my chest and they zoomed around me on all sides as I floated back to the surface. Once the dolphins had passed, the rib picked us up, transported us over to the other side of the lagoon, and we repeated the process. We kept up the same routine for hours, until we were so tired we could barely climb back into the rib. But really, who would want to get out of the water when you had a dinky little dolphin about this big come up and look at you in the eye before its protective mother put a fin over its back and let it away, almost as if to say, don't go near that, it's a human, you don't know where it's been. In the Bahamas, I was on a wreck dive off Grand Bahama, and I dropped down to the sandy seabed to look into a hole in the hull. As I was floating there, peering into the gloom, I felt a presence next to me, and I assumed it was my buddy coming in for a look. I moved over to give him room, and glanced over. My reg nearly dropped out of my mouth as I had an adult male bottlenose dolphin tucked right next to me. As he realised I was looking at him, he gave a swift jerk of his head, as much to say, so, what are we looking at? He then took off into the blue, leaving me to turn right round and see my buddy a couple of metres away, with his eyes nearly popping out of his head. He later told me the dolphin had cruised past him and then had been patiently waiting just behind me until I moved out of its way. Dugans might not seem quite as charismatic as a dolphin, but they're undeniably cute in their own way. They are one of the rarest seagoing mammals in the world, yet in the south of Egypt, there are a couple of unassuming little bears which offer you a much better than average chance of encountering one of these gentle giants. Dugons are sometimes called a sea cow and can reach lengths in excess of three meters and they can weigh more than 500 kilograms. Yet they're very, very docile and you can carefully approach them and you can get some superb photos. The area around Abu Dhabab, near Masar Allah in Egypt, is a hotspot for dugong activity, possibly thanks to the prolific seagrass growth smothering the bottom of the bays. It's a dugong's favourite food. Many dive centres run special dugong short diving day trips to the region. Such is the appeal of these creatures. Seeing them hoover their way across the seabed like an underwater vacuum cleaner is a fantastic experience. And it's even more hilarious when they decide that they need a breath and surface through the hordes of snorkelers usually floating overhead. 
watching flailing snorkelers trying to get out of the way of a large grey behemoth rising towards them is absolutely priceless. A close cousin of the dugong, the manatee is a similarly endearing animal. In Florida, there are various locations that you can head out and snorkel with these gentle creatures. Most famously, Crystal River. But thankfully, here strict rules prohibit close encounters, and there are hefty fines if you touch or harass a manatee. That said, I have seen a poor snorkeler trying to extricate themselves from the attentions of a juvenile manatee, who persistently rammed itself under her arm and used its front flippers to try and pull her hand towards it for a belly rub. You can do your level best to avoid contact with marine life, but it becomes extremely awkward when the marine life in question isn't following the same rules as you. Undeniably cute are seals. The Farne Islands are a rugged group of islands just off the Northumberland coastline in the UK, and they are home to one of the largest grey seal colonies in the world. There are around a thousand seal pups born every autumn, and that means there's plenty of inquisitive young seals happy to approach and interact with divers and photographers who flock here in their thousands to visit. The diving here is excellent, but the highlight is to get intimately close to these wonderful playful creatures. You can dive along rocky inlets covered in colourful corals and then suddenly find yourself face to face with four or five of these endearing animals, playing and chasing each other, or they may just be snoozing wedged between two rocks. If you stay shallow amongst the kelp or on a sandy seabed, they might even come right up to you, tugging on your fins or even putting their mouths around your camera. The best way to see them is not to seek them out or try to follow them. Play it cool. They'll come to you and once they do, they'll stay with you, giving you one of the most privileged wildlife encounters the UK has to offer. Remember I said seals were cute? Well, let me rephrase that. Most seals are cute. Leopard seals are a totally different proposition. A fierce predator so named because of their spotted coats and large jaws. They look totally different to other seals with large, almost reptilian heads and big streamlined bodies that are capable of traveling at over 25 miles an hour when in full hunting mode. They can weigh up to 450 kilograms and measure over four meters long. They eat fish, penguins, even other seals. Yet despite being at the top of their game when it comes to hunting prey, they are also very inquisitive and will approach divers quite closely to check them out. And as you can imagine, that makes for some extremely exciting encounters. When you're bulked up with dry suits and other cold water equipment, you can be pretty dazzled by the acrobatic movements of this sleek killer, which has the unnerving habit of gaping its toothy jaws up close and personal. But if you want to go big, you can't get much bigger than whales. Each May, the migration of behemoths begins in the seas of Antarctica. After nearly six months of gorging on krill in the cold waters, the region's humpback whales begin annual journeys to the north. Some 2,000 of them swim to Adilic Tonga in the South Pacific, a trek of nearly 5,000 kilometers, where they will spend from July through to October mating, giving birth, singing, and generally socializing. In this season, the whales can be found virtually anywhere in the archipelago's warm, clear lagoons. Visitors have perhaps the best opportunity of any place on the planet for near constant sightings of these majestic, huge creatures. Adults reach 15 meters in length and can weigh over 35,000 kilograms. And for snorkelers and freedivers, incredible and practically indescribable in-water encounters can be virtually a daily occurrence. The whales, especially mothers, being tolerant of their calves' inherent curiosity when it comes to meeting humans in the water, can be surprisingly calm and accepting of close, extended interactions. If you can get the special permissions required between November and March, you can freedive with sperm whales off the coast of the island of Dominica in the Caribbean. These massive mammals, the largest of the toothed whales, form a resident pod in the area and simply being in the water alongside these leviathons is next level exciting. As an added bonus, as well as the sperm whales themselves, you can also encounter false killer whales, pilot whales, and various species of dolphin. 
and once you've had a few days diving with the whales, why not relax and head out on a whale watching trip so you can see them topside. And that way you can enjoy a rum cocktail or two on the way back into shore at the end of the day. You'll have to break out your dry suit for our final marine mammal dive, but who wouldn't relish the opportunity to be in the water with killer whales? In the frigid waters off Norway, you can free dive and snorkel with orca as family groups hunt for herring. These gigantic marine mammals have a ferocious reputation, but while attacks on humans by orcas in captivity are sadly well documented, in the wild there's little evidence of their harming people. Still, even knowing this nugget of information, when you're face to face with that unmistakable white and black face, it is a thrill like no other. That shiver you feel down your spine might not just be from the cold. So what is your favourite marine mammal? What marine mammal dives have proved particularly memorable for you? Leave your comments below and if you have a question, fire away. If we can't answer it, maybe someone in our community will be able to. Remember, if you've enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out our ever-growing playlist for more educational and inspirational videos. As always, stay safe, and if you're going diving, enjoy. <laughs>